I'm going to show you how to fix one of these dozing unit pumps. Now you can get them off all sorts of units, say pools, uh, laundry systems, dishwashers. These units that I'm going to be going through today is a dishwashers. So I've got a couple units here. Hopefully one of these units will look like yours. So stick, stick with me and hopefully we'll get down to it. So we're going to go through servicing, diagnosing problems, and um, how you should run your units and how to calibrate them. So this is an, a customer of mine and he's dropped it off and he says, Nick, have a look at it. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I'm going to pull it apart and have a look at it and show you things that we will do to it. So also if you need any parts or any dispensing units, also if you're after a free unit and you live in Australia, click on the link below and uh, just you can get my contact details. So I work for a chemical company in Australia, so we deal with a lot of these units. So. First thing you want to do is, you want to check if your motors are spinning. If your motors are spinning, you're on the right track. Second, you want to see if you've got chemical uh, pumping through the lines. And that's what the majority of these issues are. These need to be serviced every six months or whenever they wear out and stop pumping chemical. It's up to you. Um, now, the biggest issue with these pumps is these hoses wear out. What you want to do is disconnect one of these lines here. Blow through it. If you can get air through it, that means the hose is worn out. It means it's become brittle or too soft in the inside and therefore or worn out on the inside. And this here is not properly sealing. So when these wheels go around, they seal it and they suck the chemical up that way. So you want to replace this hose. So you want to pop it out and put a bit of lubricant in there. Grease, which is non-cutting. We can also sell you those products as well. And a lot of the case, you just put them in there, and on other units, you put them on top of the hose, not below it. So you place the hose, the right grade and thickness. So pull out the same hose um, and place it with the same thickness. Or here, yeah. so um, you might need to look the unit up and we'll see what they take. If you replace the hose and you're still not getting chemical up the line, this hose here, the uptake, right? If it's got a slight little hole in it or this connection here is not good, you're going to be losing air. So the chemical is going to be trying to suck up, but it's going to be taking up air because it's a vacuum. It's pretty much a vacuum and that's how it picks up the chemical. So if there's a slight little hole or a crack in one of these hoses, it's not going to work either. So you're going to have to replace it with a new hose, new line, have a nice perfect seal on it. Now the next unit I'm going to show you is a brand new unit, really state of the art and and pretty much bypasses a lot of these problems that these units have. Anyways, so going back to how much chemical should you be using for, say, a dishwasher. Now, a dishwasher usually requires, well, it's usually personal preference depending on how good your dishwasher is. So the better the dishwasher, the less chemical you use. Um, and also personal preference on how dry you want your dishes to come out. So, what you want to do is grab yourself one of these pH testers, or just me to come out. To see you. Um, you want to make sure it's calibrated and when you dip it in your tank of your dishwasher so you lift up your tank you take out the little filters and you put it in the water and you can test the water um, you'd want to, the level to be around 10 to 11 12 for super high strength chemical and a 9.5 for super low but Personal preference people like around 10 to 11 on the pH scale. Depending on how strong the chemical you are buying, the more you'll need. If you want to descale, if you're building up scale in your in your uh, dishwasher, it's probably due to the bleach that's going in the cheaper chemicals. Then you have a build up of chemical all around the inside of your dishwasher. Please clean it. Uh, problem is surface cleaning. You can see um, internal hoses. You cannot. C and clean, so you'll need a descaler chemical. If you need that, link below, you can purchase it off us. You drop it in your tank and let it run through or through your washers. Then I'll clean the internal hoses as well as the unit itself. Now, if your chemical is too high or too low, what you want to do is find out from the manufacturer of your pump if you're allowed to open the front casing. Because one, you need to be a licensed technician if it's too high in voltage for different countries um with our country it's 240 volt if it's 240 volt you can't open the casing for all of these newer units you're allowed to open the top casing or they've got um an example on this unit here you can just flip up this case and adjust the chemical that way without opening it up but with this unit here you'll need to open it up and i'll show you in a second so 
to open it up. This one I'll just pull up like this. Okay, because this is a probed unit, all right, so here we have a control speed, so the speed of the, the chemical that goes in the unit. So the speed of the chemical that goes in the unit here, and then you've got the equipment control and display. Usually it'll say the rinse, detergent, and alarms and that. So because this is a probe unit, you want to turn up the uh, detergent and the rinse. So you'll just turn it up slightly, like so. Turn up the rinse. If you want you, your rinse aid to come in higher or lower, and you turn it down, any detergent higher or lower as well. How much rinse aid do you want to be pumping into detergent? Because you can easily test your detergent, but not the rinse aid. So personal preference of people that I've seen is a 50-50 ratio. 50% you want to be taking 50 uh, chemical, 50 uh, rinse aid, and then it's personal preference if you want the rinse aid a little bit more, a little bit less. With the rinse side of things, if you find the rinse side of this is uh, the detergent, and this would be the rinse on this one because they're usually a thinner line, and the lines hoses are thinner with them as well. So, pretty much, if you've done all the following and it's still not pumping in chemical, the the hose is strong, the lines are new, and it's still not pumping in any chemical. A lot of units actually have a rinse injector. So pretty much they're hooked up into a water line because there's water line, you don't want water pressure going back through the unit. So that's this, it's a two-way valve system. So what you want to do is a lot of the time these get rusted up and the ball bearing inside there actually where uh, gets stuck. So one, you can disconnect it, make sure the water is turned off and you can push these ball bearings in and out. See that ball bearings going in and out? That's fine. Usually you can free it up, putting in a bit of WD-40 in it or some grease and just moving it in in and out and getting that ball bearing to move again. Or you can order a new one and plug it back in, don't need the hassle, but usually you can free them up. So, next unit. These are our units here which we push out to all of our customers. Uh, they come free if you buy the chemicals off us and a certain quantity. So you can always ask, you can contact me we also sell these units for people that are overseas that want units like this as well. Now, these are extremely simple and easy to use. The clips, pretty much that's how you take in and out your hoses. So you put the new hose in, and you clip that side in as well, and then you put the line back on, the clip back on. And you replace the hose. It's usually a little bit more easy than that with the grease, but these are extremely easy and efficient to replace hoses. Very quick, you snap them on and snap them off. Now, also grease, you put the grease in the top layer here, not on the hose, and then over time the grease will melt down onto the hose. So the grease lasts a little longer in these units as well, and a little bit more efficiently, so it, it replaces the hose the grease goes onto the hose when required. So very cool, very easy unit to replace the lines. Now, what else this unit has is a digital display. So you can change the digital display and change the quantity of chemical. You can see the amount of washers this unit has used as well. So you can control everything from here as well. Other units like this, cheaper units, Small, only for small usage uh, users. Now, these hoses, uh, simple lined hoses, they're pre, they're similar to these, but much smaller, pre-greased up, and you can adjust the chemical with a digital hand controller, or you can get a unit where you can adjust it manually. But for higher volume, one of these units, very simple, clean, and very efficient.